anything from the police? Yeah, lots of suspects, but uh, no hard evidence. Then let's hope this works. We're here today because all of us are, were friends of Lolo Kanapke. He was, as you know, a remarkable young man. And we'd like to take this opportunity to share with you, his friends, some of our memories of Lolo. How he affected each of us personally. In my case, well, if it weren't for Lolo, I wouldn't be here today. Well, I know she missed her lunch yesterday. Yeah, the cat ate a sandwich. Oh, I know where she buys her groceries, at uh, Halls on 18th Street. How splendid, Doctor. She'll be all right, won't she? We're doing the best we can for her. But your best isn't good enough, is it? Now look, all of you. The red eye virus probably comes from an isolated area. Maybe a jungle. We can't fight it until we know where it comes from. But, Doctor, there's got to be something we can do to help. Yeah, there is. You can make a list of all the things that Miss Gaines did this past week. Give it to Miss Jordan. And then you can hope we find the person who brought this disease to the city. Monday lunch. Shrimp salad, white bread, and fresh cream. Monday dinner. Boiled chicken, beets, and a cantaloupe. Tuesday breakfast. Eggs, juice, toast. Tuesday morning. She ran first aid classes here. Tuesday Oh, Lord, we've been through this a thousand times. Dr. Holcomb checked everything out. So you got any better ideas? Brenda's worse already, and the doctor said she might die. Hey, wait a second. We told the doctor that Brenda didn't eat lunch yesterday. She didn't. The cat ate her sandwich. Not all of it. I'm sure. I remember. She couldn't have gotten more than one bite, Lola. That could be enough to make her sick. Hold it. If Brenda got sick from eating one bite, the one who'd really be sick is... Without Lola's persistence and his ability to think things through, the cause of my illness might never have been discovered. Lolo was a good friend because he cared about other people. He treated them fairly. He was my friend. Without him, a friend of mine might not have had the chance to show how capable she really is. You see what he's making her do? Oh, hold it. Pig. Sucks pig. Yeah, he doesn't seem to like her very much either. Jennifer, did you ever think that maybe she's just not good enough? Well, she's done fine riding for other trainers, Tony. But have you ever seen her? No. Have you ever seen any girl riding a horse race? There are plenty of women jockeys. Well, that doesn't mean they're any good. I know is Peterson is doing everything he can to make Angie look bad. Good luck. Thanks. Lolo, and look. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Hey, there's someone on the other side of the track. Is there any way to make that shot bigger? So the little kid was right. The drugs, the pepper. You could have injured that horse. Come on, boss, I want Big Devil to win today. That girl never could have done it. You're fired. 
Get out of here. And leave those suits for Angie can find them. I'm riding today? I haven't got anybody else, have I? Lolo Kanapke was many things. He was proof that size is not the measure of a man. He was brave, resourceful, persistent, kind, and perceptive. He often saw things that many of us missed. About a year ago, we were down in the powerhouse basement and we were visited by a sports writer. At least that's what he said he was. Folks, this is Chuck Lacey, a reporter from Boxing News. Sorry. Hey, how are you? Boxing News? Hey, did you cover the fight last night? Which fight was that? You know, the championship fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure. Mr. Lacey's here to do a story on a fighter who used to train here at Powerhouse when Grandpa was running a gym. His name was Diamonds O'Toole. Diamonds? How'd he get a name like that? He would invest all his winnings in diamonds. <laughs> That's what O'Toole said. Nobody ever saw him. Is O'Toole still alive? No. O'Toole is dead. Are you sure you don't have any reporter's name, Lacey? Okay. No, it was definitely Lacey. Chuck Lacey. Try Charles. Chuck Lacey lied to us. He's not a reporter from Boxing News. And Diamond O'Toole is alive. Because of Lolo, Chuck Lacey, alias Shark Gilbert, was captured. And O'Toole got his diamonds back. Brenda? Would everyone please remain in your seat? The police would like all of us to help them conduct a little experiment. Lolo had an understanding of the criminal mind. In fact, he had a pet theory that there's a certain criminal mentality that can't resist seeing the result of his actions. And it's for this reason that we believe the person who planted the bomb at Powerhouse is here today. A small piece of cloth was found at the scene of the crime, and the police believe that it may lead us to discover the identity of the guilty person. Sergeant? was right, but your friends needed you to make it work. <laughs> I swore I'd get even with Powerhouse, and I did. You just happened to be there when the white cobra struck back. <laughs> Tough break, kid. Exactly. Sergeant! <laughs> Tape. Lolo, you did it again. How are you feeling? A little stiff. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Our friends at the Boys and Girls Clubs want you to know how important it is to give your heart a regular checkup. Stay tuned. Powerhouse will be right back. And to the left. Now touch your right toe. And to the left. Now touch your right toe. And touch your right toe. And touch your right weight. Try running in place. It burns up calories, and the more calories you burn up, the more weight you lose. So get those feet going. Try it. Get your whole foot on the ground, not just your toes. Breathe in and run. Breathe out and run. Get six inches off the ground. You can do it anytime, anywhere. So don't just sit there and do something. <laughs> Shape, get moving. Run a little more every day. Don't just sit there, do something. Lolo, you are truly one of a kind. Yeah, it's called a shrimp. Let's not start that again. Oh no, don't worry. Yesterday Lolo told us that he was through rushing his time clock. You're content with being a master strategist, right? Right. But a strong one. And a lucky one, because that furnace shielded you from the explosion. And Shark Gilbert agreed to cooperate with us. Forty pounds, okay? You're not rushing your time clock. Nope, just exercising it. Got it? Yep. Bye. 